Hello. Welcome to creating a coverage assessment snapshot in CTWIS. In this video, we will review the coverage assessment snapshot in Connecticut's Immunization Information System, IIS, or CTWIS. There are several reports to choose from under coverage assessment, all of which will be reviewed in individual videos that you can find on the CTWIS training page. The coverage assessment snapshot allows clinics and providers to use childhood and adolescent immunization data to run various immunization quality improvement for providers or IQIP coverage reports, including coverage assessments by age and vaccine series or antigen, invalid dose patient listing, not up-to-date patient listing, and patient roster. The data generated in these reports can be used by clinic staff to prepare for a site visit from Connecticut DPH staff. Data can also be used to educate administrators and staff to support clinic-level quality improvement initiatives. Clinic-created snapshots, including IQIP Childhood On-Demand and IQIP Adolescent On-Demand assessments, are retained in CTWIS for 90 days, with automatic removal occurring overnight. Users assigned the Manage Coverage Assessment Security function can delete these snapshots at any time. The Master Rate Comparison Report is auto-generated for all clinics twice a year on June 1st and December 1st and includes all standard childhood and adolescent vaccines. Master Rate Comparison Reports are saved for three years. The intended audience for these reports are clinic staff who monitor data quality and run coverage reports. To navigate to these reports, first click on Reports from the left-hand navigation menu in CTWIS. In the Coverage Statistics section, locate the Coverage Assessment Snapshot Reports and click the Coverage Assessment Snapshot link to open the Report Parameters page. On the main Coverage Assessment Snapshot Reports page, users have the option to view previous assessments or generate a new set of snapshot reports. To create a new Coverage Assessment Snapshot, first, verify that the correct provider and clinic are displayed on the screen. Then select Create New Data Snapshot. This screen also displays all assessment snapshots that have been created for this clinic. These snapshots can be sorted by assessment type and provide access to various report outputs. On the Create Snapshot page, select an assessment type from the drop-down menu. Select either the IQIP Childhood On Demand or the IQIP Adolescent On Demand assessment type. Please do not select any of the AFIX options as IQIP replaced AFIX in July of 2019. Once an assessment type is selected, the page will refresh to display additional parameters. On the refreshed Create Snapshot screen, select an As of Date options from the drop down menu. Current date populates the As of Date field with the date the user is creating the report. This is the default selection. Seven days in the past populates the as-of-date field with the date one week prior to the current date. This option can be used to cover reporting delays. Then, select one of the IQIP assessment options. 14 days in the past populates the as-of-date field with the date two weeks prior to the current date. This option can also be used to cover reporting delays. Selecting custom date allows the user to enter a date in the as-of-date field from the current date to two months in the past. This option can be used to assess on an exact date such as the first of the month. Please note that the as of date is read only and will be calculated based on the as of date option selected. The feedback date field is intended for use by state level IQIP staff. This field is optional and should be left blank for all other users. The following fields are read only. Age range. Age range is based on the assessment type selected. Age range by date of birth. This field displays a calculated birth date range based on the age range and as of date. Compliance by age. This date is based on the assessment type selected. When IQIP Childhood On Demand is selected, compliance by age will default to 24 months. When IQIP Adolescent On Demand is selected, compliance by age will default to 13 years. Once the selections are complete, click Create and then click OK to acknowledge the system message. Once the user creates a new data snapshot, it is available on the main coverage assessment snapshot report screen, along with other previously created snapshots. The on-demand assessments are retained in CTWIS for three months.
You can create snapshot coverage reports to track progress as you go through the iQuip process, or to track progress for any quality improvement initiatives that your office is involved in. Once you have created the snapshot, you can then begin generating reports. The reports you can generate include Coverage Assessment XSL Format Coverage Assessment PDF Format Coverage Assessment Comparison PDF Format Not Up-to-Date Missing Immunizations Patient Listing Opportunities Patient Listing Invalid Dose Patient Listing and Patient Roster Report For additional information on generating each of these reports, please refer to the CTWIS training page. Thanks for watching.